Oh, hello. Hello, bud. Hello, pretty boy. Sweetie. Easy, easy. Cool. <laughs> Please do come visit. No orders about. Hey, uh, baby. Hello, pretty one. Hello. Wow. Now this is a rush. <laughs> ah, yes. A piece of ecstasy. This is the most incredible turn on when I'll approach like this. It is the most incredible turn on. JRH NBR. Just the right height, no bucket is required. I happen to have a pony mare that is JRH NBR. Mm -hmm. And that's really nice because you're not trying to do a balancing act standing on something. At that moment of orgasm, for lack of a better word, the two souls actually merge and touch, albeit for a brief instant. And it is the, it's humbling. And yet it is, it's so intense, it's rejuvenating. Mares do orgasm. Yes, they do. We call them marigasms. And when a mare orgasms, um, a lot of times, well, they, they will, you can feel their muscles tense up and they kind of oomph, for lack of a better word. Laurie and Michael were both sexually active with animals when they married. With the arrival of children, they agreed to give up their animal passions. But after a few years, Michael found this too difficult. When you wake up in the middle of the night and your husband's not there, uh, the barn is rather close to the house, um, you know, for no reason, okay, why is he out there? And uh, a wife usually knows. I wasn't aware that my wife was aware that I had reestablished my intimate relationship with, with my mare. Um, it, it, it was just, a, I was trying at that time to be true to myself and the loved ones in my life. And sometimes juggling those things is no small task. It was a very difficult situation. It's like, fine, you want to be with her, then be with her. So I would get resentful and remove myself out of the, you know, the triangle. Hey, come on, get out of the stickers. Come on. Come on. Because of the sexual tension and the secrecy, I wanted him to tell me. And so he started to pour all this out of the pain that he had gone through. And, you know, it became very honest. He told me about all the relationships. He really, for the first time, expressed how deeply he felt and how much his love was for horses. Michael and Laurie agreed to bring back Michael's mares into their relationship. And she says, well, I've got to come out and watch. <laughs> and I went, oh. And I discovered, I've discovered that... Uh, in that respect, with the proper people, I'm not ashamed of that also. I was a bit intimidated because knowing how emotional my wife can be about some things, I thought, oh gosh, if she loses it during this, this, is going, this can get ugly. But the neat thing was, was she came out and watched. And it was another opportunity to bring us all closer. And it's kind of interesting, she says, well... Um, can't have any other women. And I'm going, well, I don't have an issue with that. Because women can make awesome friends. I enjoy speaking and visiting with women. But uh, overall, you stand a pretty woman and a pretty mare. I'll take the mare. I shared him with three other horses. There were times where I could accept it. There were uh, times when I resented it. Because I wanted him there for me. 